Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to continue our top five series with a style of stove that I've really gotten to love over the last three or four years, remote canister stoves. There are many available and the design possibilities are endless. So let me show you guys my top five. Now, before we take a look at these, let's just talk about the differences between certain canister stoves. In general, there are two major types. One is remote canister stoves, like we're going to look at today, where the gas canister is connected to the stove via a fuel line. So it usually sit off to the side a little bit. Upright canister stoves, on the other hand, connect directly to the top of the gas canister, things like the MSR Pocket Rocket or Pocket Rocket 2. There are two major benefits to having the gas stove off to the side. First of all is safety. If you want to get stoves that create a tremendous amount of heat, like some of the crazy ones that we have looked at, it is best to have that gas can away so that there's no risk of fire or explosion or anything like that. The second and probably more important is that you have the option to invert your gas canister if your stove has a preheat tube. If you have something that will preheat that fuel, it'll allow you to invert it and work much better in very cold temperatures. The technique for doing that is pretty simple. You wanna turn on your stove, get it very low, and then invert your canister. By doing that, and when you invert it, that automatically puts a lot more fuel into the system. So if you have it turned up real high and you invert it, it could flame out and get way out of control. So make sure it's nice and low, then you invert your canister, let it settle out, and you can adjust your flame. Now, each of these five stoves are different and useful in different situations, so let's take a look at them. First stove we're going to look at is the Covea Spider. You can see the carrying case. I do think carrying cases are important, so we'll take a look at each of those. This is actually the very first remote canister stove that I purchased probably seven or eight years ago, I would imagine. There's your stove. Dimensions are 5.5 by 3.5 by 5.7, and it weighs just under six ounces. Fuel hose is 12 inches in length. It is made in Korea and costs between 50 and $55, depending on where you get it. As far as benefits go, it is uh, low weight, it's compact, it's very sturdy. That's one of the things about this stove that I like the most and the reason that it was the first one that I purchased. You can put fairly heavy objects and fairly heavy pots on here and it'll work just fine. It fits cups as small as three and a quarter inches in diameter, which is really, really good. It does have a preheat tube right in the front here, as you can see, we'll discuss it a little bit later, what makes that special and why it's important to have that in certain situations. It also has a flat gas controller. You can see that the top and the bottom are flat. Canister attaches here and you can easily flip this over just like that. And that will allow your canister to sit upside down if you want it to. Again, we'll talk about that down the road. This is the Covea Spider, very nice stove. Let's boil some water. Right, this is the Fire Maple 117T. The 117T does come with this little foam padded type case. It's okay. I'm not a big fan of it, but it is okay. I prefer plastic hard cases. Folded dimensions are 2.9 by 3.5. Show you guys real quick. It does fold down pretty small like that. Very easy to open back up, which is always nice as well. Unfolded dimensions like this are 2.9 by 5.7. It weighs a scant 3.4 ounces, has about a 10 inch fuel hose, and it is made in China. The cost for the updated version, which is the only one that's available, it's not quite like this, is $70. I'll explain to you guys what that is here in a second as we talk about the benefits. From the standpoint of benefits, it is super lightweight and compact, which is great if you want to take this on the trail. It allows you to have a little bit more robust stove with you out there and not weigh down your pack. It is titanium, so it cools down very, very fast. When you have stainless steel uh, components, they can be very long to cool down, but titanium makes this one cool down very, very well. The updated version, as I talked about, has a preheat tube that allows you to use it with an inverted canister. Um, I, I personally, I didn't buy it with it because it wasn't available when I bought this stove. Soon after when I bought it, it came out with that updated version and the preheat tube. I live in Louisiana, so I don't deal with super cold temperatures, so it doesn't bother me as much. But if I was to buy it today, I would buy it with the preheat tube as I always like to have that as an option. Just know that it is available. Very nice titanium stove from Fire Maple. 
Let's boil some water. Next, we will look at the Red Camp Windproof Canister Stove. I do not know if this stove is still available. Uh, I think it's available on AliExpress. You just have to search for it. It currently is not available on Amazon, but I will tell you guys, this is one of my favorite, favorite stoves. The detailed review on that will, will show you guys, and I will emphasize to y'all, this is not a review of each of these stoves. This is a quick highlight, a demonstration of how quickly it boils two cups of water, and some discussion on the benefits of each. If you want a full review of each, the links to those will be down below, so make sure you check those out. This stove comes with a very nice carrying case. I like these plastic carrying cases. Dimensions are about three by seven. Weight is 10 ounces, so not terrible. And it does have a 12 inch fuel hose. Made in China again, cost is very, very low at $30 whenever I purchased it. Benefits are that it does fit larger pots. Okay, you can see because it is a little bit wider, it fits larger pots. Now that conversely means that it won't fit the smaller pots, but it still will fit pretty small pots. It has two rings of flames, one on the inside, one on the outside. That gives it a lot of increased wind resistance and it also gives you a lot of control over the flame. That's probably what sets this one apart. It does have a built-in piezo igniter, you can see down here. And as I said, it has excellent, excellent flame control I really like this stove, still possibly my favorite remote canister stove day to day, just because it's freaking cool. Let's boil some water. Next, we have another really cool stove from the company BRS. It does come with this carrying case. Not too bad, shaped like a cone because of the way that this stove works. Here it is, okay, just to show you it, to fold it up, it's real simple. You just put these three legs down like that. Very quick to deploy. Pop it out just like that. Unfolded like this, it's 4.7 by 6.9 by 3.3. Fairly reasonable weight at 8.8 .8 ounces. Fuel hose is 12 inches. It is made in China. Cost is 30 or $35, which I think is a very nice cost. Uh, you can see it does have some rubber anti-slip uh, legs, which is kind of nice. From the standpoint of benefits, it has very strong legs with those aforementioned slip proof pads. It has got a pretty powerful cyclonic type burner on the inside. It has excellent fuel efficiency, which is one of the things that they talk about with this stove that makes it different. The unique design as far as having that burner, okay, down here, and you move this up, you can see that the wind will come across and it is very wind resistant because it's behind basically this cone of metal. It does have a built-in piezo igniter, which you can see right over here, and a preheat tube for low temperature use that you can see right up here. Again, though, it's the wind resistance that really makes it different. You can see that design. That is the BRS 11, a great little canister stove. Let's boil some water. Our fifth and final stove is the Alox CS G04 Pro 3200 watt. That is a lot of words. Here is the carrying case, one of the nicer carrying cases that comes with any of these stoves. This is a pretty firm, has good, good support, which is great to extend the legs. It just can't get any simpler. You just pop these out like this. They kind of lock into place right there. And there is your stove. Dimensions folded are 3.5 by 3.5, and the dimensions unfolded are 6.3 by 3.5. Weight is 11.5 ounces. Once again, has a 12 inch fuel hose and is made in China. Cost is right about $30. You can usually find this stove on Amazon, but you can get it on AliExpress as well, which is where I purchased it. As far as benefits go, it has that excellent carrying case we talked about. 
It has a double ring burner. It has this inside kind of cyclonic burner and then an outside rim, which really brings the power. This thing is pretty awesome. It has a built-in piezo igniter. You can see right over here. And because of these two burners, it really has superior flame control. That is one of the things that sets it apart. If you're looking for things that are a little bit negative, you do have to have a pretty big pot to, uh, to stand up here. I'd say probably at least four inches in diameter. If you look, for example, the Everview Mug Pot, this is the top, but it does fit on there. You're gonna want something just big enough, just about this big, which is the Everview Mug Pot. But yet again, another awesome stove from the company Alox. Let's boil some water. So there you go, my top five remote canister stoves. In case you're wondering, I had 15 to choose from in my collection and several on order. In the end, there are a few things to keep in mind when you're trying to pick the right remote canister stove for you. Of course, you want to start with the price. You want to see how effective it is against the wind, what kind of wind resistance it has. If you want a piezo igniter, you want to make sure that it has one and you want to take a look at the power. How strong is the flame? Like we spoke about earlier, if you want to be able to invert your canister, make sure you have a preheat tube. And of course, we always worry about weight on the channel. A lot of these remote canister stoves are a little bit heavier, so that's something to think about. But these days, especially like our titanium fire maple, very powerful, doesn't have a lot of frills like a piezo igniter, maybe not the best from the standpoint of wind resistance, but it is very lightweight and it is very powerful. With those things in mind, prioritizing what is most important to you, I hope that you'll find that one of these five stoves will meet your needs. Now it's important to realize not all of these are currently available, I think. As I spoke about during the description, some of them are. You may have to get some of them on AliExpress and not on Amazon, but I've never had issues ordering from AliExpress, so check it out. It just may take an extra 10, 12 days to get in, but they all work. And you can get a pretty large variety of stoves straight out of China that you can't get here in the United States. Do me a favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really, really helps spread things across YouTube. I have an entire playlist on stoves. You may want to check that out. I'm also starting my new top five playlist. This is the second video, I believe, or maybe third video on the top five, top five remote canister stoves. I have quite a few more top five videos to release over the next maybe year to 18 months. Lots of different ideas. Make sure you guys leave down below any comments, any ideas of top five categories. What kind of things would you like me to produce a top five video on? If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you're notified when I release any new top five videos or any other videos, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know. Really excited about this new top five series. I think it'll extend out to well over a year and I can keep growing on it over time because there's a lot of things that we could get a top five on. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.